I'm Earl Stewart. I welcome you to Earl Stewart on Cars Mystery Shopping Report. Mystery Shop, a Central Florida story. I'm going to speak of the uh, first person as if I were the mystery shopper, Agent Lightning. I arrived uh, just before 8 p.m. evening shop. I noticed several uh, sales agents gathered in front of the showroom door. I like the way she called them sales agents. I did I too. Like, I like that. Yeah. Um, Yenny, Y E N Y, Yenny, the saleswoman, uh, spoke up first. So I asked if they happened to have any hybrid vehicles in stock. She replied that they did, but only one. 2023 Crown Sedan parked right up front. Uh, that's a brand new model, folks. That's uh, all Toyota dealers are very excited about that. Uh, and this is a 2023. It's parked right up front. They're they're kind of rare. Uh, she asked if I'd like to see it. Uh, Yenny, uh, the salesperson, and I naturally said yes. Yenny uh, mentioned she would be right back. So that we meet at the car. I noticed there wasn't a window sticker on the car. That's always a red flag. MSRP, Monroney label, by law, they're supposed to be there. But to be honest with you, uh, even at our dealership, occasionally we have to reattach it or something happens. But uh, as long as it's not premeditated, the dealer should have that window sticker there because it's a wealth of information. And it's something absolutely vital if you're shopping and comparing prices, you got to know what the real MSRP is, the window sticker. She apologized, saying her English wasn't very good, then said something into a radio. A few minutes later, a guy approached uh, us with papers in his hand. Neither of them introduced themselves, although they were both wearing name tags. So uh, sales manager David welcomed me and handed me the papers, stating that they contained the same information as what the window sticker would show. The paper was a Toyota consumer sheet, which showed an MSRP manufacturer suggested retail price of $42,218. The VIN, vehicle identification number, on the sheet matched the VIN on the car. There wasn't any indication of dealer installed equipment or market adjustments. But when they come in, yeah. they come in with the Monroe Lee labels attached. The exactly. dealer doesn't yeah, put it on. Yeah, you have to take it off. Right. Somebody took it off, probably yeah. for a delivery, like it was sold and maybe the deal didn't go through and they didn't put the sticker back on. But they're not supposed to take it off. Uh, only the customer legally can take it off. Exactly. Technically, it's supposed to be on the vehicle at the time of yes. delivery. Frankly, most dealerships don't do that because it takes a while to get it off and the customer wants to get the car and long story. Yen explained that this car is exclusively a hybrid and is similar to the Avalon, but in hybrid form. This is true. There are no non-hybrid versions of the Crown. Dave assured me that I was in very good hands, tapped Yen on the shoulder, saying she's the best. However, I was never offered a test drive. That's not right. I mean, uh, you should be offered a test drive. Yen suggested we go inside so she could work out some numbers. David mentioned that their inventory was quite low and asked if I would be interested in a pre-owned vehicle since they didn't have very many new cars. I declined, emphasizing that I really wanted a new car. He then asked me if I was trading anything in, to which I replied no. He seemed disappointed, and you're always disappointed. Car dealers, salespeople, always want to have a trade-in for a lot of reasons. First of all, used cars are such low supply now. Car dealers literally need used cars really bad. Uh, of course, uh, they, they, they said that before they really needed them that bad, so now you know, uh, it's a question of you doubting their integrity. But the truth is now, your, your trade-in is worth a lot of money. They want your trade-in badly, and it's a good tool for you to use to negotiate the best price you can. But you always should get competing prices on your trade-in. Once inside, Yenny had me sit at a high-top desk, asked for my license and contact information, she then excused herself to speak with her sales manager. About five minutes later, she returned with a sales worksheet, a standard worksheet in her hand before showing it to me. A worksheet is something uh, uh, preceding the vehicle buyer's order. Why? Because it's not a legal document and the car dealer isn't obligating himself legally. He can be wishy-washy. He can be a little bit uh, casual about 
numbers on a worksheet because it's not a legal document. This is my offer. <laughs> You're the one who's supposed to make the offer. It is the dealer's offer, but she should have said, this is the price. If you're trying to get a lot of money from the customer, you should say, this is the price and make them believe it. But she said, uh, this is my offer. Proceed to go to the chargers on the sheet. The selling price was MSRP, 48218 uh, Then they added four, $4,190 and I love this, total financed aftermarkets, <laughs> $4,190. Then they added a $999 junk fee. I used to call them dealer fees, and they're just uh, additional profit to the dealer and the sales tax. Out the door, jumped 42000 to 57000 <laughs> Wow. That's a quantum leap. Wow. I expressed I didn't want or need the extras labeled as financed aftermarket. Wise, uh, that's the dealer installed accessories. I asked if they could be removed, and he said she would see what she could do, but wasn't sure. I replied, if you could try and appreciate it, there's no way I'm buying at this price. Then I mentioned that I currently own a Toyota and asked if I would receive a special discount for that. And he replied, I don't know, but I'll ask. Nice thing about being a new salesperson, in fact, a lot of veteran salespeople pretend to be new salespeople because you tend to feel sorry for them and you tend to uh, think that they're telling you what they believe and a, a lot of people play that game. I'm new at this. I, I don't think any was. I think she really was. A few minutes later, she returned accompanied by a different sales manager who sat down while she kept walking. But he asked me how soon I was looking to buy since the hybrid in the inventory was the only one available. I replied that I'd been waiting to buy a car for a while, but I couldn't bring myself to pay full price for a car informed me uh, that he had a new price sheet and showed me a revised worksheet with the extras removed. Uh, this was the same, but uh, with zero dollars for the total advance aftermarket's out the door price, 52742 versus 57195 which is a huge drop in just, uh, you know, two seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, want, I don't want to buy those. Uh, for those timid people, uh, God help them. I mean, when you go in, there are gullible people, I'm sorry to say. Literally, people believe everything some car people say, and that's what the, the, they, they pay obscene profits to car dealers. So always ask, always ask for a better discount. He expressed his desire to make a deal with me that day and asked if we were close to reaching an agreement. He wanted me to let him know uh, what price would make me sign right away. That's standard operating procedure. I respond by saying that regardless, I would still need to discuss this with my husband and we would want to test drive the car since I haven't done so yet, obviously. You, you can't, you'd never buy a car without test driving it. And I, and I talked about that last week. Sometimes you have to buy a car without test driving it because they don't have the car. Uh, he seemed disappointed and suggested, well, let's go drive it now. I declined saying I would be in touch. So there you are. Okay, well, that's that's the Mystery Shopper Report. We'd love to have your votes. Uh, I'm going to give them a, a D for me. Uh, myself, kind of go with the crowd and say D. F, 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 F. So I, I'm, I'm going to give them a uh, C minus. Uh, in general, uh, the Toyota Crown is, uh, I mean, that's a hen's tooth. That's a rare occurrence. Nobody's got the crown. And if anybody's going to charge you a lot of money, it's supply and demand. That's what they're doing. And uh, they could be wrong, uh, but uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to give them a C minus. Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button and the bell icon in the lower right-hand side of the screen.